Today is day 101. We're going to get it today. Get it and hug it. Uh, I'm at the mile 1380 just by the Palisades Parkway. I think we call this the Harriman State Park, probably named after Averill Harriman, former Secretary of State, I want to say. Um, Twelve and a half miles to go. This is the first day. Just spent seven, seven and a half days in Tampa. Feel ready. Uh, thank you to Diana, my massage therapist, and to Chill Therapy. Love those chills. Got up to level three, minus 180. I think it's minus 180 for three minutes. Did that maybe four times, took a float. So a uh, beautiful day here, upper 70s right now. It's 10 o'clock, repositioned the cars. Stayed again last night at the Appalachian Hotel. So off we go, 12 and a half miles today. Tonight I'm gonna be staying in Fort Montgomery. Okay, I'm looking straight ahead or the camera is pointing straight ahead. I've gone through almost a half a mile of this stuff and I think I'm almost at the top. All of a sudden the temperature rose. No, I'm sure it didn't. I just got a tad overheated. So I'm going to bring this baby down. I know it's often hard to illustrate how steep these suckers are. I don't know how much it is, maybe only a 15 or 20 degree, but uh, it's not a lot of fun. Fortunately, the good thing is not having to go up that way. It's kind of like a dragon's tooth. Thank you for not designing the trail to go that way, but this way. Well, just finished that little humongo uphill that I just showed you. Didn't take too long, maybe a minute, minute and a half. And then, look to my left, I see this thing. That's gotta be the top, because I can see the blue sky above. I'm trying to decide, because I know I'm gonna have to pay for this on some downhills, uphills, not a problem, or not as big a problem, let's put it that way. Huh. Yeah, this is one that maybe looks a little harder than it's going to be. <clears throat> All depends on the angle. <sighs> Famous last words. Gotta go up that bad boy. Probably only another 30 feet ascent. Okay, um, this is the Orange Turnpike. Just crossed it, and uh, another great example of kind folks here in New York. Got a half a dozen water jugs out there. Another three, nine total, wow. And there's probably stuff inside here too. I'm not gonna take it whatever it is, but let's see what it is. And in it we have, oh, nothing. Well, I took a guess, took a gamble, no, nothing in there. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good, how are you? Great. Just caught me doing a little film. Oh, nice. How are you? Great. Good. Yeah. When did you start? Uh, April 7th. Yeah, you're making pretty good time, huh? Yeah, behind the bubble. All right, so uh, not quite halfway into it, and I ran across Huckleberry. Huckleberry uh, uh, just re gave me a little info. He started sometime in March, but I'll let him tell his story. I don't want to take any of his thunder. I'll give He can speak for as long as he'd like. <laughs> <laughs> and about any topic that you'd like. I started March 4th. I've been dreaming about this since 1968 when I saw a movie, a travel log movie on the Appalachian Trail and when I was in college and I took my girlfriend, then girlfriend, to uh, the travel log and I told her someday I'm going to have to do that because I think that would be a real neat thing. It's a hike the Appalachian Trail. Well, since then I've married her and uh, she has encouraged me 
as of January 1 this year, I've retired. So she's encouraged me to get out here and do this hike. And she's behind me 100%. And so far we're at uh, uh, 1,380 some miles into the, the bay, basically into the trek. I have about uh, 800 to go yet. Super. Where are you from? I am from Wisconsin, Eau Claire, yeah. Wisconsin. Eau Claire, yeah. Are you familiar with Eau Claire? Yeah, well, I lived up uh, just short of the Wisconsin line in Gurney at oh, one sure. time. Yep. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. So, yes, I'm a cheesehead, and uh, yes, I love the Packers. <laughs> you love the Packers? Well, I do indeed. Okay, can you get me some tickets to uh, that, <laughs> that <laughs> the Madison Wolver, uh, uh, Badgers Wolverines? I think that's November, I almost want to say 21st, but right. it might be November 20th. At Camp Randall. Yeah, yeah. right. No, That'll you're on your own, bud. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> okay, this interview is now closed. And uh, Huckleberry, thanks. We might see you tomorrow because uh, I moved to the north, but I hike southbound. Oh, okay. So with well, any luck, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll probably run across us. So yeah. We're on our way into uh, uh, south, uh, what is it? Um, we're going to spend the night in uh, town tonight. Yeah. We're going to get off at uh, 17, I think. Uh, yeah. Southfield. Yeah, yeah gotcha. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Here's a nice one. Haven't seen anything quite like this. So this is not a stream that we're going over. Looks like the start of one of these little ponds. So anyway, uh, my inability to hang on to the camera and at the same time walk across one of these babies with rocks like this so I'm gonna put the camera down uh, yep I already went too far with the camera in hand so I'm gonna put the camera down and cross this baby it'll be easy here's a good one if it were metal I'd call it a slide but it's not metal so we'll just call this a rock slide anyway looks like to the right of this boulder, which is to the right, we've got one of these little uh, cannibalized trails that'll get me through. see a lot of these around. They're very helpful. Just a little side trail. Okay, uh, um, all I can say is I know that I'm on the trail. And I know that this is just like, I almost need a rope to get down this thing. That's straight down. Well, we'll see. We shall see. Man, it's gonna be a bear. Okay, so this is Fitzgerald Falls. I guess I'm about three, just over three miles from uh, my final destination for the day. It has been slow going. I can hear it, but I can't see it. I mean, I'm telling you, it's been slow going. I think it's because, well, all those downhills plus the hand over hand uphills. And you're going to pay for it on the downhill. Pay for it. Nothing's free. Got to check out these falls. I can just barely see them now. I love waterfalls. Ever since I saw Niagara Falls come through the television on the Three Stooges, that's a real waterfall now. Whoa, pretty sharp. Good evening. I, it's not often that I get to say good evening, uh, but it is after six o'clock. It's pretty close to seven. Uh, I think that the 12 and a half miles I did today, and I'm a quarter mile uh, from the 
parking lot, quarter mile from the end. I think that this stretch of 12 and a half miles was by far the most difficult. Uh, Got to respect what's going on here in New York if you're going to be on the trail. Uh, and uh, be conservative. I mean, all the kids are doing uh, easily 15 miles. Uh, good for them. I mean, they're, they're cooking it. Uh, ran into a couple other seniors in, uh, man, we had some straight ups. This is like uh, a mini roller coaster in Dragon's Tooth times five. Uh, good hikers may not have to worry about it all. They could probably zoom right through it. But there were... I went about 1.25 miles an hour. I was figuring on doing about 1.8, uh, and I've slowed that down. That's my gross miles, gross mileage, 1.25 miles per hour. L definitely the lowest that I've ever done. So what's my learning? Uh, take it easy, <laughs> because the trail's always going to be here. Uh, don't set yourself up with an expectation, because so often an expectation uh, will lead to failure on your part, and there's no need for that at all. Uh, that's what has been in, in my mind. Uh, we Often we define failure, and there's no need to have to ever do that. Uh, as long as you're doing, doing your all and doing your best, you didn't fail. Uh, so, uh, I don't know what tomorrow will do. I'll have to wait and see how I feel tonight, but I'm going to give it a, as good a stretch and as good an icing as I can, I think I can.